In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to apply a width profile to a vector brush stroke. And because I'm working with vectors, I'm going to be working in the designer profile. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a straight line with no width profile applied to it. So I'm selecting the brush tool here and I'm selecting a brush. And in the controller here, you'll notice that I'm selecting brush defaults. And this means that no width profile will be applied to the brush stroke. As you can see, the line is pretty even, no width profile applied to it. Now let's see what happens when I draw another line, but with pressure selected in the controller. As you can see, I have a, a line which has two thin ends and a wider middle. Now this relates to your stroke options in here. And right at the bottom of these options, you have this little pressure icon. Simply click on the pressure icon to reveal the Bezier curve here, which relates directly to your brush stroke. And you can see live changes when I move the Bezier curve, as you can see, the wide part of the stroke moves around as the Bezier curve does. So if I wanted to create a curve with a wide end this end and a thin end that end, I would move that part of the Bezier curve to the top and even that out, and as you can see, thin end, fat end. Now one of the great things about Affinity Designer is you can save your width profiles and apply them to different strokes. So let's say I want to save this new width profile. All I do is click on Save Profile and you get a new icon which represents that saved profile here. And that's ready to use on any new stroke. Affinity remembers the previous brush stroke profiles that you've used. So if I go to draw another brush stroke straight afterwards, as you can see, it uses the previous profile. Unless you go back to brush defaults, in which case you get another straight line. Affinity also gives you the option to build width profiles directly into brushes themselves. So again, I'm going to demonstrate before and after. So got the same brush selected here and I'm going to draw a line and as you can see no width profile applied to it. Now I'm going to make a few changes so I've double clicked on the icon to reveal the brush editing interface and all I'm going to do I've already got pressure selected here so that's a standard. I could click none but I'm leaving it as pressure and all I'm doing is adjusting the size variance. So I'm going to close the options and I'm going to draw another line. And as you can see, by default, the width profile is included in the brush. So I have the option here of sticking to the brush defaults or I could have none again. So again, we revert back to one without a width profile. Another interesting option within the brush settings is the opacity option. So in the same way that I adjusted the size variance, I can also adjust the opacity variance. So if I go all the way to 100%, you can see that the end of the brush is completely faded out. So if I close that and then change it back to brush defaults in the controller, and draw a line, you'll see that the line's nicely faded out. 